Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Something on your mind? What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. How about the Asari and Salarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. And the Salarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. What about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorcha I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? Given the situation everywhere else as close as we can be, you've done well, Shepard. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? 
Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn Navy who knows how to kill Reapers. You just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You stopped the Batarian slavers on Elysium all those years ago. What you did, the people who survived that ordeal still thank you by name. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun, you can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill, but you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care, they went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Nothing more, sir. And Shepard, I thought you might like to know I've got word on your mother. Oh? She's alive and well and promoted to Rear Admiral. She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another Shepard around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. Got new messages, Commander. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like. I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Commander? It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Corians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Hello, Shepard. I hear you are on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. 
but I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess, although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Commander? Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Commander? Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There are still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day... The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Hello, Shepard. Greetings, Commander. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. Next, you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one, too. Now, you're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Later. Hello, Commander. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this Peace you are brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, 
Let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. Commander. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just... <sighs> listen to yourself. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. Well, that's a start. Commander? Power grid is in the green. Commander. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. From Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian War. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Ma'am.
I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. Three hundred years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Hey. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not gonna turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed, so did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Thank <laughs> you. 